Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer facing a unique challenge with Heroku and ClearDB. The question revolves around how to effectively handle auto-incremented primary keys that increase in multiples of 10. This can lead to unexpected behavior in your application code, especially when relying on specific ID values. Let's dive into the details and explore the best practices for managing this situation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. When working with ClearDB on Heroku, primary keys are auto-incremented in multiples of 10. This can lead to issues when your code relies on specific ID values. For example, if you have a status table with IDs like 1, 2, 3, and 4, your code may break if it checks for a specific ID, like 1. Instead of checking by ID, a common practice is to check by the name of the status. This way, your code remains robust against changes in the primary key strategy. Alternatively, you could add a new column with fixed integer values that you can rely on. However, this may complicate your database schema. In summary, checking by name is generally the best practice for handling auto-incremented primary keys in ClearDB. It keeps your code clean and adaptable. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To handle auto-increment primary keys in Heroku with ClearDB, there are two main strategies. First, you can avoid using auto-increment altogether and manually assign ID values when inserting data, which works well for static tables like status. The second strategy involves using string constants. Define your status values as class constants for better readability in your code. For example, use active and retired as constants instead of numeric IDs. Using string constants makes your code more semantic and easier to understand. For instance, checking if a status is retired is clearer than checking an ID. Plus, indexing the name column can maintain performance. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.